welcome to the Survivor to Thriver show with your transformation guru, Samya Bano. Are you overcoming big challenges in your life? Do you want to transform the world? Is fear holding you back from taking the bold action you need to create massive positive change? If so, keep listening and transform that fear into freedom. If you've been listening to this podcast uh, faithfully, then you know we have launched a campaign, hashtag happiness tips for POTUS. That is hashtag happiness tips for president of the United States. And I have decided to engage in this campaign because as a Muslim, I have learned to love for others what I love for myself, and that includes our president. So, the happiness tip for today is, very simply, to grow your strengths. Grow your strengths. Now, President Trump, I know that you already have a great value for living your strengths, for doing what you love to do, for doing what you are good at. So, this happiness step is just about taking something that you already have a value for and that you love to do and doing it even more and doing it even better. There is a saying that if you're not growing, then you're dying. And that is also true when it comes to us using our strengths. If we are not growing in our strengths, then we're actually becoming weaker in their use over time. And so the question is, well, how do you grow in your strengths? And the core way that you grow in your strengths is that you learn to use them in new ways and in new kinds of situations to help you resolve and overcome the new kinds of problems that you find yourself facing. You are now the President of the United States. It's your first time being a President of the United States. So of course, you are in a very new situation and of course, you are facing many new challenges. And so this is a great opportunity for you to practice using your strengths in new ways and to help you overcome new problems. This is such an amazing opportunity. I'm really excited for you, President Trump. Now, one way that you could utilize your strengths in new ways is actually to use the strengths you already have for bringing people together, for inspiring people and to following your lead. And do that not just for the people who are already in agreement with you, not just for people who are already a part of your circle of influence. Rather now, you shift your focus to using the strength you have for bringing people together to expand your circle of influence, to expand your circle of who you love and care for. Look, President Trump, you are my president too. And I am a Muslim woman off color and a first generation immigrant to the United States. You are my president too. I'm also part of the 99% of Americans who are part of the middle class, of the great American middle class, and you are my president too. And you are the president of every American, regardless of 
our race, our ethnicity, our religious uh, identity, or our gender identity, or our sexual identity, or anything that differentiates one human from another. You are the president of all Americans. So use your strengths to include even more Americans within your circle of love and concern. You do that by caring for the well-being of all Americans. You do that by loving for all of us what you love for yourself. Find win-win solutions to benefit the 1%, of course, and to benefit the 99% also. When you find these kinds of win-win solutions for all Americans, then all Americans will learn to love and trust you even more. Americans, your people, will see the sincerity and the caring you have for us all. Your fellow Americans are a great people with a great love for our country. And we can come together to solve our biggest problems. We need you to lead the way in that. We need you to model for us how to come together, how to love for each other what we love for ourselves. And for that to happen... You must live your strengths every day and grow in their use. Use your strengths in new and different ways to bring peace and harmony among all Americans. And you can do it. I believe in you, President Trump. You can do it. Believe in yourself even more. You are the President of the United States. So love us all with an open, honest heart. And then we will love you too. So until next time, I wish you lots of peace and joy.